Sunday trading restrictions in England and Wales could be relaxed during the Olympic and Paralympic Games. The government thinks it will boost the economy and capitalise on the higher number of tourists expected over the summer. But there's concern from some critics that it may lead to a permanent change, as our correspondent Philippa Thomas reports. As the Olympics and Paralympics get underway this summer, hundreds of thousands of visitors are expected to flow through London. <laughs> Shopping centres like this one, opening its doors last September near the Olympic Park, will clearly benefit from looser Sunday trading laws. Many big retailers have been lobbying for change. Obviously delighted with the announcement that West End retailers and London businesses can benefit from these extra hours of trading on Sunday. An extra £180 million boost to retailers in what is still a pretty tough economy. So what's the current position on Sunday trading? It was first allowed in England and Wales in 1994. Today, more than 50% of people do some form of shopping on a Sunday. But shops larger than 3,000 square feet are still restricted to six hours of opening. So do consumers want more time to shop? I work in a hospital, everybody, they work 24-7, so, you know, as long as people aren't working too many hours. If you're working from Monday to Friday, or Monday to Saturday at least, Sunday you need to have a rest. I think it's very good. It's good for the city, it's good, it's good for the UK. If changes are introduced, smaller shops could face more competition. And the shop workers' union, Usdor, says further deregulation will have a detrimental impact on millions of workers and their families. The Church of England is also voicing concern about what happens after the Olympics. We're really in favour of the Olympics. Uh, if the Olympic torch was uh, passing my church on a Sunday, we would even cancel our services to enable people to come out and serve our community being part of that. But what I am concerned about is the potential that this could lead to a lo longer lasting change that would mean that families and community wouldn't have Sundays as a special time. And that's the big question. Whatever the government's intentions, once we all treat Sunday as just another shopping day, will that be the norm for the future? Philippa Thomas, BBC News, Central London.